So I've been paddling on this, the Mississippi here for about 10 years. And over the course of 10 years, I've seen the rebounding of the, the eagles. That was the site you wouldn't see 10 years ago. You know, Minneapolis and St. Paul, the metro area has done a great job of revitalizing uh, this watershed. In many ways, the river is far improved from what it was 40 years ago. And that's exactly why we did this project, is we get a lot of those questions. It gives you a synopsis of the health of the river now compared to over time and gives you some tips on what you can do to help it. So off to my left, what we have is a stormwater outfall. Now this is the discharge of a series of pipes that run underneath the city and collect stormwater runoff and discharge directly untreated into the river. Uh, in many cases, this kind of runoff can contain trash, pet waste, uh, leaves, uh, grass clippings and other debris from the urban environment. What we've discovered in the last 20 or 30 years is that our current policies really aren't sufficient to match the threats that are emerging in the river now. Uh, one issue would be our ability to control runoff pollution from a wide range of sources, including agriculture and urban. Uh, there are other contaminants of emerging concern where we really don't have the tools we need to control them effectively. And then also we lack sufficient standards. Uh, the river behind us here does not have standards for nitrate or phosphorus for the protection of aquatic life. Even though those pollutants are causing serious problems downstream, we don't have the tools to control them effectively here because we don't have standards to manage for. It's finding a relationship between industry and the natural world. And finding a relationship where they're working um, symbiotically together. Um, and a lot of that is mediated, public policy is mediated by um, public demand.